Hello Retro Simmers, welcome to West Anime Sims. My name is Kelvin and how are you doing? We are back with another speed build featuring the Halloween season. This time around, we're going to build an apartment lot area. This is about a spooky manor. So if you like this video and like my content, please give me a like and subscribe to West Enemy Sims for more updates on Retro Sims content. We are still aiming to reach 2,000 subscribers at the end of the year. Thank you so much for subscribing so far. It means a lot to me to, that, to know that there is still a thriving community in Retro Simming genre. With, who plays The Sims 1, Sims 2 and The Sims 3. So yeah, join us for this community of retro simming. So back to the video, uh, right now I'm currently have this whole place fenced up already and do a little bit of a increase a little bit of a height on the one of the corner of the lot to make it a little bit more hilly to give a little the terrain has a little bit more bumpy so it won't look flat all around and I start to have the first layout of the house so it's inspired by second empire architecture build this build is uh this architecture style actually is exists in the Sims 2 Mansion and Garden stuff pack. Uh, I look it up a little bit briefly about what is constitutes as the Second Empire architecture style. Basically it's an offshoot of a Victorian style architecture so it is not too far from making a very spooky looking uh, houses in this lot. So it is an apartment lot build out of four different small houses in the same lot which is a pretty huge lot I built on a 40 by 40 lot which is I uh, rarely do this the lot is big <laughs> yeah I never I most I, most builds I have is 30 by 30 so which is a standard medium sized lot and I connected some stairs to reach to a, a more higher ground In between two of the houses, there will be a small park. I will make it, try to make it of a graveyard look to it. So all these houses will have different layouts, but they all share some similarities of the architecture, like the roofing, the uses of the windows, and the the texture of the house built wall textures and also the floors are all pretty much similar in terms of colour and style. So I decided to fix one of the houses first and finish uh, decorating and all this into uh, one house before moving to the next one because I feel it a bit too overwhelming for me to do four houses at one shot. So it's much more manageable to build one house at a time and see how it goes and each of the houses have very different uh, lay layouts as I mentioned so a little bit different personalities will go into play in this ho these houses so the first house I'm planning to do is a bit more of a gothic couple and more a standard looking house with a really small space uh, very close since it's very closest to the cemetery uh, that I built beside is uh, having a little bit of a very drab look it's very big and also very Victorian using a lot of dark colors And the second house will be a bit more quirky with uh, a lot of cat or pet furnishings. So I'm thinking that house will be lived by some crazy old cat lady which has 
single only single but owns quite a lot of cats for her company and the third house at the back would be the vampire house I would call it uh, it's not necessarily lived by a vampire but it's using a lot of red and a lot of gothic colors and black and white so it's pretty uh, strong in color theme so I these colors really strongly associated with vampires so I would call it that and the last house at the corner at the back will be a much more of a rocker style uh, uh, feature which has uh, posters of bands and also has a guitar in that house I'm planning to put more musical instruments in if we have a lot of space but looking at these houses I'm purposely making them pretty small does it's not does not go over 10 tiles wide and six to seven tiles long so it is pretty much a very small confined spaces and to keep the rent pretty low because the last time I built separate houses on a community uh, on an apartment lot, uh, the rent way goes way up to two thousand to three thousand per week, which is a uh, crazy for a Sims family to rent houses like that. So after I build this uh, lot, it goes from about thousand five to two thousand one simoleons. I might be wrong. So that's pretty much much more reasonable than three thousand <laughs> simoleons because of the size of the each unit it does affect how much you can uh, how much rent that seems must pay for the, to live in these houses I'm not going to rant very long because it's going to be a long video and the process of trial and error and putting different items along in each of the houses which are all different it takes a lot of time to figure out which furnishing looks nice for each house so yeah as for landscaping is the usual very autumn look with a lot of yellow and orange foliage and a lot of uh, dead trees and spray paint a lot of terrain which has a much more dirt and also dried grass much more browns and yellow this time lush greens to make it much more of a trap look so it looks pretty haunted like Halloween Town a little bit of inspired of inspiration of Halloween Town or the Adams Family neighborhood mansion but it's for smaller houses so it looks much more Neater, uh, much more cozier in a way, in, in an odd way. And I think I am pretty really obsessed with these second empire roof pieces. They look so much better than the default roofing, which is, although a little bit more time consuming to do, but it is the effects are much, much more satisfactory, and you can get the desired look much more quicker in this way rather than putting the default rules and adjusting the angles and the figuring out the roof types and so on to make it look nice but this one it although you have to put in piece by piece but i think that the overall result looks much nicer in this way and the middle of the buildings process i did some structural changes off camera as well so you should see some a little bit slight changes of the architecture and roofing I added the towers at the back to make it back two houses to make it more taller from the ones in front so it gives a much more dynamic height to it or contrast and yeah and also expanded the second house a little bit wider because I just realized I can't put a bathtub in the bathroom so I have to expand the house a little bit wider and put some wrap around 
porches in some of the houses to make it a little bit more Victorian inspired instead of just a steps to the doorway and that's about it.
Okay, that's pretty much all I want to talk about this speed build, the haunted mainers. What do you guys think about these houses? Please give me a comment and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to West Enemy Sims for more updates on retro sims content. The build I will continue to edit and the pictures and screenshots will be and the link to download this build will be available down in the description below as well as my social media pages Instagram and Tumblr please do give these social media channels a follow anyways thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye bye